Hey there, hunters. KristenForGuns.com. Thanks for joining me today at our local hunt club. We're out here for our last wintertime rabbit hunt before the seasons wrap up and hopefully spring is also on the way. But what better time while we warm up in here before we head outside to share with you a few of my favorite bushy tail scatter guns. The great thing about small game hunting, in rabbits in particular, is there is no right and wrong answer on what kind of gun you should use. And to that end, my three favorites are three very different guns. The important thing when chasing rabbits is that the gun be light enough and comfortable enough that you can carry it all day in the field, not over your shoulder, but at the ready. Let's start out with one of my favorites, and that's a baby bore in a 410. And it's not just any 410, but a lever action. This is the Henry 410 lever action. This is the longer barreled model. So we have a 24 inch round barrel topped off with a brass bead. But the interesting thing on this one, as opposed to their other model, it's included with invector style chokes and comes with one full choke, which is perfect for what we're doing with rabbits. That allows me to stretch out my range to about 25 yards, maybe even 30 with the full choke. And any rabbits coming into the 10 or 15 yard range, you're right on the money with this gun. And what you get with the tube here is five rounds of a two and a half. So you don't get the three inch shells, but that's not something that we've ever missed when we've been out in the field. It's a capable gun and a fun one to shoot and one that'll take down rabbits with no problem. The next one on my list includes one of the most underrated gauges out there as far as I'm concerned, and that's the 28 gauge. And my specimen here is a gun that I love and have done a lot of hunting with, and this is the CZ Woodcock. The CZ Woodcock is a favorite of mine because it's so lightweight and easy to carry a field. It's a beautiful gun, and it's a gun that shoots to my point of aim. So when I'm out in the bunny woods, something comes out, I can be up quick. Boom, couple quick shots and I know I'm right there. This is an over and under, so break action with 28 inch barrels. You have the brass bead front and the gun comes with five chokes. Now this gun is currently out of production, but CZ offers a number of very similar comparable guns to this one. This is the single trigger. I love the color case hardened finish on the Woodcock. It's just a really attractive gun. This is weighing just over six pounds, which makes it a light gun in the field, very wieldy. Like the 410, the 28 gauge is really low on recoil. So for recoil sensitive shooters, it's a great option for rabbits, even upland birds. And it's just a, a pleasurable gun. Last up on my list is the 20 gauge. And the one I have here is a semi-automatic. Now 20 gauge is about as big as I care to go for rabbits because I don't like to pick any BBs or pellets out of the meat. I like to have those rabbits ready for the crock pot. But the TriStar Viper G2 bronze version, what we have here, which refers to the finish on the receiver, which you see is pretty attractive in a budget price gun. You have the three inch chamber on the 20 gauge, so you can use pretty much any shells that you'd like out in the field if you want those high brass hunting loads. This particular model has a 26 inch vent rib barrel. It comes with three interchangeable chokes, so you're set for pretty much any range and type of hunting that you like to do. You have the fiber optic red front sight, and a high gloss Turkish walnut, so it's an attractive looking gun that'll catch the eye of the hunter, but also one that can do what it needs to do in the field and at a price that you don't have to be afraid to take it out, drag it through the brush and use the gun. The nice thing about having a semi-auto like the TriStar is rapid follow-up shots, a lightweight gun, and because it's a TriStar, a budget gun, so you can get into the semi-auto at a reasonable price. with three different gauges, three different barrel lengths, and three different action types, and we still have three awesome rabbit guns. These are some of my favorites to get out in the field, and I'm gonna head out there in just a few minutes, but I'd like to know what kind of guns you like to take out for those wintertime bushy tail hunts, or any small game for that matter. I know we all have our favorites, and that's the great thing about shooting, hunting, and gun collecting. Give us a like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel with that button down there so you can get more hunting content coming your way.